Hi, this is Mr. Bison. I'm not talking Star Wars today. I am talking about one of my other toy lines I like to collect, which is Jurassic Park. I uh, recently got the Amber Collection Dennis Nedry and Dilophosaurus in it, and I thought it was a good idea to uh, throw together a quick video and check these out. So these showed up from Entertainment Earth. Uh, I was really excited when they teased Nedry. I was really, it made me happy to finally get a Nedry figure besides this one. This is the only Nedry figure that we've had for, what, 25 plus years now. Um, this is from the original Kenner Jurassic Park line back in 93 and 94. And um, this looks nothing like uh, Wayne Knight. Um, honestly, if they made an action figure with me, I wish they of me they made me look this good. Um, the the cool thing that this figure had was that you could uh, take his arms off. Really, that was about it. Um, I didn't even know this was Dennis Nedry to begin with, because I, I collected a lot of the Jurassic Park figures well after the fact, um, <clears throat> like more towards the late '90s. And uh, I discovered they made a Nedry figure. And I was like, what? And then I found it was him. I'm like, that's not Nedry. This is Nedry. Um, I think they're still a little nice to Wayne Knight at the time as far as proportions, but hey, it's it's still a decent figure. Now, I usually like, with my Jurassic Park stuff, I like to get a lot of the humans. I have some dinosaurs. Well, I have quite a bit of dinosaurs. The thing is that I have so many of the original Jurassic Park dinosaurs and Lost World dinosaurs, I don't feel the need to buy many other dinosaurs. But I bought the Dilophosaurus. I went back and forth. And, and I'll be honest, it was for that East Dock uh, sign more than anything. I saw that in there and I really wanted it. So let's go ahead and start with Dennis Nedry here because we said the magic word. So if you've watched my videos before, you know I did the uh, Amber Collection Ian Malcolm review as well, um, which I didn't think looked, uh, you know, greatly like um, like a Jeff Goldblum. That was pretty good, but I, I do like six inch figures. I like three and three quarter inch figures too. I'm looking forward to the three and three quarter inch version of um, Dennis Nedry coming. I ordered that one for the Comic Con exclusive. Probably do a review of that. But as you can see, we got two different heads here. The regular head, and then, you know, when he's taunting the Dilophosaurus, and then the head of, um, he's just been blinded by the Dilophosaurus's uh, venom. We get the Barbasol can, complete with a piece that detaches, extra hands, and a base. So we pull this out, and I make a lot of noise to do it. I'm glad I'm in the garage while my son is sleeping. So uh, we get Mr. Wayne Knight here. It's it's not a bad facial likeness. Definitely with the big smile. I like the glasses, which is good. I like that we get the uh, Jurassic Park ID badge, the engine ID, ID badge right there, which is pretty cool. And he has his Jurassic Park raincoat on so he can slip down the hill, try and tie the winch into the, um, into the tree. Makes me wonder if at some point with this Amber collection, if they'll want to do vehicles. The uh, Jurassic Park Jeep would be pretty cool. Um... But I'd say it's pretty good, uh, pretty good likeness overall. It's not the best. I wouldn't say it like it's Hasbro Black Series um, good or you know Marvel Legends good for what they're doing right now. But um, it's still pretty good, and I, I like the little details that we've got on him here. And let's see what else we got. So we've got him, and then we've got an extra head. Let's see how easy that is to put in and out. Jeff Goldblum did not come with an extra head, so it's the first time doing these on one of them. And tell, oh, that came off really easily. Sometimes you have to pull on these heads so hard. Maybe because it's summer. When I do reviews in the winter, it makes it harder. All right, and this is Wayne Knight about to be eaten right there. Doesn't he look great? I think he's even got some of it in his teeth. Isn't that great? Let's see. Get a good focus here. All right, you can see uh, what he looks like there. So we have both those heads, and we got some really cool accessories. Why oh, this does not want to focus on it. Um, the Barbasol can, I think, is the perfect accessory for, for Mr. Nedry. This is so funny. Though. This is the second figure, the second human. Well, I guess third human, because they did Owen Grady uh, for, for Jurassic World. But we get the Barbasol can. It's amazing how this has become associated with Jurassic Park shaving cream can when you think back to it like we've even had promotions with it but we have a little piece to put our dna samples in and uh it can go in there uh it doesn't push out any whipped cream or anything or any uh, menthol for us but whatever uh that's pretty nice uh we'll have to see if he can hold that with one of his extra oh yes he's definitely got a hand that can hold that because he needs to be holding that Oop. 
So we have uh, this hand. Uh, there's two hands in there. One just fell on the floor. I'm not going to worry about that right now. See how easy or hard it is to change out hands. Mm. This isn't bad. He says as he tries to push the hand back in. There we go. Okay. So now he can have his Barbasol can. Wow, he even has a UPC code on it. Kind of fits in his hand. It wants to pop out. Let's see here. There we go. We can get it to fit in his hand. There we go. Too bad it didn't come with a stick, huh? You know, you could say fetch the stick, stupid, right? But that is the Dennis Nedry. I guess you call these six inch figures. They're a little taller than the six inch scale. At least from what Hasbro's been doing, which is what I'm more used to. But uh, pretty cool figure. I, I'm, I'm happy with him. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Dilophosaurus. So next, we'll go ahead and open up our Dilophosaurus here. Like I said, I was probably more interested in the uh, East Dock sign than anything with this. I know it sounds crazy to spend, what was it, $30, $35 just to get that. Uh, I'm not disappointed, honestly. Look in the package, and it's it's a pretty good size. But here is our Dilophosaurus. It's got a couple extra pieces there. I'll see what all that's about. Does he come with a stick? Oh no, that's spit. Okay. Oh, it'd be funny if it came with a stick. Oh, I see. One of those is uh, the base for the sign. Here, the Dilophosaurus's base and the sign base are connected to the inner packaging, which doesn't want to come out. Oh, because it's uh, so show you so this piece right here that they put in here as a peg holder because these are going to be all over stores right it actually connects into the inner packaging which makes it so it won't slide out the inner packaging so i have to do a little bit of quick surgery here to just cut out the uh zip ties i guess you'd say they are on the inside and get this stuff out I mean, while I'm opening it, I know a lot of people are like, what's it matter? Just mutilate the package. I do like to keep nice packaging, but and we have our Amber Collector sign, the East Dock, with complete with. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. This will look really cool on the Jurassic Park display. I, I think more than anything, I, I like that. Oh, yeah, let's look at the dinosaur. Okay, so. Isn't that a great sound? Doesn't that just make you want to open toys right there? How many of you have tried to open toys like that without disturbing your significant other or sleeping children? <laughs> That's why I have my great toy room in the garage, right? So I can make all the noise I want out here and not disturb others. Oh, we got lots and lots of little accessories here. Let's look at our dinosaur first. Blophosaurus is pretty cool. I think I only have a few from the original Jurassic Park release from the Kenner stuff. Let's see, we got an opening mouth. The frill is all out, which is pretty nice. Uh, articulated arms. I guess we call these arms. Uh, articulated legs. Wow, quite articulated. And a little bit of articulation on the tail. Uh, the tail even has a bendy thing in it. All right, so you can do that. See, there he is. He, he's want to... Wouldn't it be cool to get a Jeep and put him inside the Jeep so he can, uh, you know, munch on some Dennis Nedry? Uh, so let's see how easily he stands up using our supplied Amber Collection stand. Now, he has a hole in the bottom, which is not a cloaca here, so we're, we're, we're good. We just put our little clear stand piece in there. It's kind of nice that they did this so that you don't have to try and balance your dinosaurs. Uh, I don't know how many of you have all a lot of the original Kenner stuff. Oh, popped off that. Um, most of mine's actually glued down because with, with hot glue because uh, they don't stand. <laughs> I remember when I first bought that T-Rex back in 1993. And um, man, yeah, it didn't want to, it doesn't want to stand very well. All right, so we can kind of get him. I know it's not perfect. Um, 
Obviously, we can get him up a little bit more like that, more like what he's supposed to be. I can play around with posing it, but you can see how he's supposed to work. So let's see what we got. We have this, which I'm assuming is our um, hood or frill in the, oh, we'll call it closed position. Let's see, do I have to take off his head to do this? Okay, I'm going to consult the packaging really quick. Does the packaging tell me what to do? No, the packaging does not. Don't you like this high-end adult collectible stuff? <laughs> okay, I know this isn't exactly high-end, but... They're like, here you go, have fun. You don't need instructions. Um, yeah. How's this come off? Okay, oh, the head comes off. Okay, that makes me feel better. And what, like that? Does that look right? Yeah, that looks good. I don't think it would be like that. No, the other way. For sure. Okay. And we can have our... Here you go. Now you can create your fetch the stick stupid great moment right here. So that's kind of nice. Uh, it actually looks very good. Unlike, like I'm going again, going back to the old Kenner one where you just took the frill on and off. I, I like that they included another piece to have the frill all down on him. Oh, that looks pretty good. Um, Now... Yeah, how many people are actually going to display this? With well, I'm sure there's people who collect Jurassic Park stuff that are as crazy on it as uh, I am with Star Wars who might buy two different uh, Dilophosauruses to display in both positions. I will not be doing that again. I wanted the East Dock sign. <laughs> so this is my first dinosaur in the Amber collection because I didn't buy any of the previous ones. I may get an Owen Grady eventually. So we have some dinosaur... I think it's venom, right? Spit, whatever you want to call it. We'll put it in there. There we go. That you can put in there and he can fire at will right there at Nedry. Isn't that fun? It's kind of a nice little display thing. We'll turn this however we want. There we go. Looks like he's hawking up a, a loogie or something. There we go. There. So uh, that's our Dilophosaurus. Let's get him on his stand again. He comes off the stand pretty easily. But he also stays there pretty good. So we can put him right there. And, I mean, come on. This was the, the, the gem of the whole thing, right? It has, it has its own display stand. There we go. Okay. So you can see, you know, when I saw it, I wasn't sure how big that was going to be. I'm like, do I want to buy this? <laughs> yes, I bought it for the sign. The Dilophosaurus is cool. I don't have a problem with him. But as you can see how big that sign is compared to Nedry. So these are pretty cool additions this Amber Collection. I do like it. I hope uh, Mattel continues to do more with it. Um, I'm far more inclined to see some more of the, uh, the classic characters. Uh, it's impressive that they haven't done a Grant, who's pretty much the main character of that first, first movie. Although the Ian Malcolm was a great first choice, let's be honest. But, you know, uh, a Sattler would be great. A Hammond would be absolutely fantastic. Um, the kids... Heck, let's get... Uh, Malcolm, right? Let's get Samuel Jackson in there too. And Henry Wu. Okay, I'm just dreaming here. That's a lot of uh, six inch figures. I doubt they're going to get to all of those, especially since they'll include some Jurassic World people in there too. Um, who knows? They might get to Lost World and would they dare ever do Jurassic Park 3? I, I don't know. But um, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm liking them. Like I said, I'm more about the human characters for Jurassic Park because I have enough dinosaurs at this point. But uh, unless a dinosaur is a new one that I don't have, I, I pretty much stick to uh, humans at this point. So there we have it. Amber Collection, Dennis Nedry and Dilophosaurus.